Okay, right here is a 2010 Liebherr R9250. The R9250 was first announced by Liebherr in late 2005 as the successor for the older R994 model and was officially introduced at the Bama Trade Show in Munich, Germany in 2007. Available from Liebherr in either front shovel or backhoe configuration, depending on what the customer preferred, the R9250 is designed to swing a rock bucket ranging anywhere from 17 to 22.2 cubic yard capacity in backhoe configuration and swing a bull clam of equal capacities in front shovel configuration, which is a 15% increase in bucket capacity over the older R994. On the back of the stick, you can see the two bucket cylinders to curl the bucket in and out. And on the top of the boom, you can see the two stick cylinders to push the stick in and out. Here you can see where the boom and boom cylinders pin to the superstructure on the machine. And if you look in the center of where the boom pins, you can see the two Liebherr axial piston swing motors. The R9250 offers 42% higher swing torque than the older R994. Thirty-three inch general purpose crawler shoes are standard for the R9250. However, Liebherr also offers optional wider crawler shoes depending on the type of ground conditions that this machine would be working in. The R9250 has two travel speeds, 1.3 miles per hour at low travel speed and 1.7 miles per hour at high travel speed. And to help give you an idea of the size of an R9250, this excavator measures 23 feet 9 inches tall from the ground to the top of the operator's cab and 22 feet 4 inches wide. Now, let's go up on top of the 9250. Okay, let's take a look at the powerhouse on this excavator first. Through this compartment is the pump room. From right here you can see the three variable flow axial piston main pumps which power the machine's front attachment and travel functions. Two separate reversible swash plate pumps power the closed loop swing circuit. Through here is the engine room. Let's go inside and check it out. Okay. 
Liebherr offers a choice of two Cummins engines to power the R9250, which are a QSK45 turbocharged and aftercooled V12 diesel engine that produces 1,287 horsepower that meets the United States EPA Tier 1 emission regulations, or a slightly smaller QSK38 turbocharged and aftercooled V12 diesel engine that produces 1,261 horsepower that meets the United States EPA Tier 2 emission regulations. This R9250 is equipped with the larger QSK45. This machine also features a direct injection system, two separate water cooling circuits, and an automatic engine idle system, which not only reduces fuel consumption and engine load, but also reduces CO2 emissions. And for customers who prefer an electric hydraulic machine, Liebherr offers the R9250 with optional electric power, powered by a 1050 kilowatt three-phase AC squirrel cage induction motor. From here you can get a good view of the hydraulic system and the control valves on the 9250. On the left side of this machine, located right behind the operator's cab, is the hydraulic oil reservoir tank, which holds 602 gallons of oil. This compartment that you see located directly below the operator's cab is the electronic room. And inside of this box that you see mounted on the wall right here is where all of the computers, relays, and electronics are located to work the machine. Now, let's go up on the top deck of this machine. Here you can see all the hydraulic lines that run out to power the backhoe attachment in the front. On the right side of this machine is the hydraulic oil cooler, which you can see right down inside of here. And right here is the top of the diesel fuel tank, which holds 1,434 gallons of fuel. And here you can see the grease barrel for the central lubrication system. Right here you can see the two air intakes and air cleaners for the engine. And these two red canisters that you see mounted on the top of the machine's counterweight are for the fire suppressant system. And here you can see the cover over the two mufflers and you can see the two tailpipes. And from here you can get a good overview of what the top deck of an R9250 looks like. Now let's go inside and check out the operator's cab.
From here you can get a good overview inside the operator's cab of the R9250. This is an air suspension seat that can be adjusted to fit the operator's weight and position. Okay, these two foot pedals that you see directly out in front of the operator's seat control the travel functions on this excavator. Each foot pedal controls each individual track. And off to the right and left side of the two travel foot pedals, you can see two foot rests. The two joysticks that you see on the right and left side of the operator seat control all the digging functions of the backhoe attachment out in front, or if this machine were set up as a front shovel. Off to the left side, here you can see the digital LCD display screen, which will provide advisory information to the operator in case this machine should malfunction. And off to the left side control panel, here you can see other gauges, warning lights, switches, and other controls to not only monitor, but also work other various functions on this machine. The R9250 is equipped with an electronic cylinder damping system, which is a patented system based on the machine's Latronic electronic control system. What this system does is it allows for smooth movement of the front attachment for all cylinders, which thus increases the cylinder's reliability and energy saving. This machine also features a pressureless boom down function for fast cylinder retraction without energy consumption. And from right here you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were running the R9250. The noise level inside the cab of the R9250 is rated to be below 77.2 decibels with diesel power and 70 decibels with electric power. And this beautiful cab was designed exclusively for Liebherr's mining class of hydraulic excavators. To the left of the operator's seat, you can see a fold-down trainer seat. And behind the operator's seat, you can see storage compartments. From here you can get a good view of one of the sun guards which are mounted on the side and rear windows of the operator's cab and this is to deflect some of the sunlight glare so it doesn't blind the operator when he's running this machine. And directly in front of the operator's cab you can see the emergency access ladder so the operator can get off this machine in case of an emergency. And from here you can get a good view looking out at the backhoe or mass excavator attachment in the front. From under here you can get a good view of where the two axial piston travel motors are located to propel each individual track. And take notice that both the hydraulic motors and the lines that run to power the motors are encased inside of these metal shields. And this is to protect the motors and the hydraulic lines that run to power the motors from any rocks, dirt or falling debris when the machine is in operation. And 
If you look right here, you can see where the drop down is located for the machine's centralized service fluid filling station. And this allows the mechanic or the fuel man to plug into one of these ports and fill this machine with service fluid such as engine oil, coolant, grease, or gearbox oil from right down on the ground without having to take the hoses up on the top deck of the machine. And on the back of the machine's counterweight, you can see where it says 9250 Lee Bear. And the overall operating weight of an R9250 in backhoe configuration, as you see right here, is 275.6 tons. In front shovel configuration, the R9250 weighs in at 279.4 tons. But there she is, a 2010 Liebherr R9250.